What's up, everyone? Happy Saturday. We are still in upstate New York. Truck hitting the Jake on the way by. But uh, we're up in uh, Glens Falls, New York, up by Lake George. And we are back over here. Similar to where I was yesterday. Over here by the river on the way between South Glens Falls and Glens Falls. And it's just really cool over here. Look what the water's done to the rocks through the years. Chiseling it out. Sun rising over the water, really cool. The factories here. Pretty cool. And then we look out this way, it is that really old building. I think it's like 17, 1800s that right there in stone. Uh, and then uh, look up there, that's Glens Falls up that way. Of course, we got Old Glory flying. Love it. And that's South Glens Falls over there. It's the bridge over the river. <clears throat> so what attracted me back to this area here is that um, you look at every time you got an industrial area with water around, uh, they harness the power of the water. They harness the, the free resources that are around them uh, to get work done, to get make things happen, to make their processes happen. And it kind of gives me a parallel to, uh, to life. Um, we really need to uh, harness the resources that are around us. Um, we're all surrounded by great people, we're all surrounded by great influences, we're all surrounded by beautiful places and beautiful things. And we don't harness um, everything that's around us. Like, they harness the water to turn their machines, to make electric, to do all this stuff. You got free resources around you that um, you really need to take advantage of and build into your life. Uh, I was listening to little Andy Pachilla this morning uh, and uh, Real AF podcast. And he was talking about um, how important it is to be yourself. And by being yourself, don't copy anyone else. Don't copy what they do. We need to take all these little things, all these people, all these influences in our lives, all the things that we read, all the things that we learn, and we need to become our own person. And then we need to share that with everybody else around us. And we all build off each other. So you shouldn't be out there trying to copy someone. You should be taking what they have, mixing the ingredients in a big bowl, and uh, making your own cake. And uh, so just wanted to point out how important it is to Take a look at who's around you. Take a look at the influences in your life. And take a look at the things in your life. Just like the river here. Just like the river here is a free resource for these factories. Take your free resources. And uh, build yourself with them. Build yourself into a better person. Um, and that's what we're all about. Becoming the most elite versions of ourselves every day. Growing a little bit. And uh, just becoming the best you can be for those around you. Um, you want to be that person that everyone else looks up to that, that shares information and shares ideas and shares experiences so that they can build themselves up. So, all right, so that's your message. Be aware of what's around you, the free resources in your life, and use them and take advantage of them and build them into your machine. All right, let's jump into prayers. We'll give you some pretty water to look at. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, most of the blessed of the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. Dear God, thank you for all the resources you put in our lives. We are grateful for beautiful sunrises and beautiful blue skies and beautiful water and beautiful friends around us that get on here every morning and say hello and say good morning. Uh, we are grateful. Uh, please help us to uh, keep our eyes open, keep our hearts open, keep our minds open to the positive influences around us in our lives and help us to build and grow and become the best versions of ourselves every day. Amen. All right. My Apex crew, 
We are Apex. We will see you Wednesday in Texas for another round of Entrepreneurs Meetup. Looking forward to seeing all of you guys. Um, any of you guys out there that aren't Apex and want to know what it's about, reach out. We'll talk. Um, great group of people. Entrepreneur Mastermind Group. Uh, coaching, training, loving, friends. Good stuff. Positivity in life. So, all right. So that's the story for today. We are going back to the car show. We cruised around last night. I'll be somebody go live at the car show. It was great. Owen's got an open house today in Glenhead. Uh, since we're talking about real estate, uh, 35 Wag Avenue is now in contract. Uh, so that is uh, off the market now. Uh, we are working on contracts for one in Oceanside. Uh, what else have we got going on? Uh, one Jefferson, the co-op in Rockwell Center, is still available. We showed it a bunch of times. We have some interest, but um, that if you put 10% down on that, with the maintenance and everything on a 250 co-op, your payment will be about 1800 a month, which is less than it would cost to rent that place. So if you're renting right now and you're spending 1800 two grand a month for a one bedroom, uh, you can own something. So think about that. If you're renting right now, talk to me. If you're thinking about renting, let's talk. I'll get you with the mortgage guy and we'll see if we can get you in this place. And you don't even need 10% down. You can do less there. And uh, that would be... Uh, that would be a good investment for yourself. Start building some equity. And um, what else have we got going on? Working on a few other things uh, at the moment. Um, Elmont listing. Uh, that one's going crazy. I put that up at 250. It's a gutted house. Uh, we're doing an open house Monday, 4:30 to 6:30. Look back at my wall. You'll see the live video of that. Um, that house is. Uh, it's already in a bidding war. I haven't even showed it yet. Um, so Elmont's a hot area, so that one's going to go. we are doing best and final offer by Tuesday. Um, so that one's, that one's been crazy all weekend. I didn't even show it yet. I'm showing it for the first time Monday, and I already got offers coming in sight unseen. That's how hot this market still is. So anyway, that's some of what's going on in the real estate world. If you need any help in real estate or in life, uh, if you're stuck, you need help, you need someone to talk to, reach out. If you're thinking about buying an investment property, reach out. If you're thinking about selling your home, going big or moving out of town, whatever it is in life. You need someone to talk to and lean on, having a bad day. You want me to try and make you laugh or do something silly. You want to go grab a beer. Whatever it is in your life, I'm here for you. Let's do life together. Let's let's live life together. Let's win this battle together and enjoy the journey. Hi, everyone. Fire starts fire. Go inspire, go inspire someone in your life today. Take those free resources around you. Build yourself into a better person. And uh, put your head on the pillow every night knowing that you made the world a better place. God bless. Love you all. Uh, go check out my group, 365. Uh, we Ride at Dawn 365. Facebook, all one word. We Ride at Dawn 365. Uh, it's my uh, my group of followers. I'm going to jump on there live from my bike a little bit later. And we're going to talk about the 30-day challenge and what's going on with that. So if you want to learn more about that, jump in my group and uh, check it out there. Bye, right, everyone. Be good.